Raising a child can be a lot of fun, but most parents wonder if they're doing all they can for their child. And almost all parents want to know how they can help their child learn and grow. This is especially true when it comes to language and reading. And it seems everyone has an opinion. You've all heard well-meaning family members say, oh, shouldn't your child be talking by now? Or uh, shouldn't your child know the letters of their name by now? And what if your primary language isn't English? What if you're raising your child in a bilingual home? How does that impact learning and language and literacy? So what is typical language development? And when do children start recognizing letters? This video in the series, Get an Early Start, will answer those questions for you. There is a wide range of when typical language and letter recognition occurs. Parents often wonder, when do babies and toddlers start developing language? And the answer may surprise you, from birth. Even though babies cannot say words or even understand words yet, when you respond to your baby's cries and coos with comfort and smiles, your child is learning that what she does makes you respond. And that is the start to learning language. So even though babies cannot say or understand words, they're watching and learning from you. So sing that silly little song to them as you change their diapers, or talk to them while you hold them and comfort them. They are listening and learning. There are many charts and milestone trackers available to you to see if your child is on track. All of them say the same thing, that there is a wide range in age of what typical is. We have listed some of those in our resource guide that is attached to this video. Language, like all development, can happen in bursts or develop slowly over time. Sometimes you will have a child who isn't talking at all and then suddenly they're speaking in two to three word sentences. Other children will develop that skill in a much more paced manner. As long as your child is, is within the typical age language development chart, there's nothing to worry about. But what if you speak two languages, like English and Spanish? Some families wonder if this may slow down baby's language development. It doesn't. Just speak with your baby in the language spoken in the home. If you speak Spanish, talk to your baby in Spanish. The important thing to remember is to talk about what you are doing in the language you are most comfortable with. The baby is trying to understand their world. So if you describe what they're seeing, label it, it helps the baby learn what that object is, and they will learn the English word soon enough. Studies have shown children who hear more words by age three have a better educational success. So how can you provide your child with that language-rich home that is one that is filled with all these different words? Let's face it, if you need to work all day and you have other kids, this can seem impossible, but it isn't. In fact, it can be very easy. Here's how you can do it. How? Simply talk to your child as you go about your day, about what you see, feel, or where you're going. When you're in your car or on the bus, describe for your baby all that you see outside the window. For example, point out stop signs or point out that grocery store or the tree that you see. Describe the tree, the color, the animals might live in it, if it's a big tree or a little tree. If your child is playing with a toy, talk with them about the toy or about the activity they're involved with. Provide all these words to your baby during regular routines. Label things, repeat words of toys that they're playing with often as you play. Oh, let's bang the cup. The cup is loud. Bang, bang, bang the cup. So you just labeled cup three times for your baby. It may seem silly, but if your child is interested, they'll watch you and look at what you're pointing at. They may even start gesturing and looking at you to hear more. You can do the same sort of describing of what you see at the grocery store. Talk about the items you're buying when you eat them, what the color is, the shape, the smell. Older brothers and sisters can also help with this, make it a family activity. Other things you can do include reading books. Reading books to babies and toddlers is all about learning language and creating a warm, comforting moment. 
so that the child begins to associate books with positive feelings. With a book, your child can see and imagine things he wouldn't see in real life, like talking bears and unicorns. Toddlers who are read to hear so many more words than they would otherwise. It is never too soon to introduce books to your baby. And hearing all that language and watching you point at the pictures is a great way to help your child hear new words. And remember, it doesn't matter what language those books are in, as long as the child hears and begins to understand what those words mean. As you can see, the road to reading and writing starts with making sounds, pointing, and holding books. Soon, they use those books to find out more about the pictures in the book. So reading to your child is really important to help develop those early literacy skills. Children who only hear words from the TV or from apps do not have the same understanding of what those words mean when compared to those children whose parents speak to them. They hear the word, but without the real world interaction with that word, it has little or no meaning to them, especially to children 18 months or so and younger. Babies need to see, touch, and feel things to truly understand language. Even the best children's program or app does not provide what babies need to develop strong language skills. That is why the American Pediatric Association has recommended that children under 18 months have limited time watching TV and playing on cell phones or computers or tablets, except for video chatting. Over that age, a child's media time should always be with a parent to help them understand and explain what they're seeing and hearing. Of course, all parents need a break at times to have a cup of coffee or take a shower or even make dinner. And having your child watch Sesame Street or a high quality video or app for a short period of time so that you can take care of your needs is fine. There can be a time and a place for that. Check the resource guide that accompanies this video for the Family Media Use Planner, which is a resource from the American Pediatric Association, to plan when your child can watch TV or play on those iPads. If you do have concerns about your child's language or literacy development, talk to your child's pediatrician. Pediatricians can help refer your child for an evaluation if needed, or let you know if your child is developing just fine. If you live in California, you can also contact your area's regional center and have them evaluated by the Early Start team. That information is found in the resource guide as well. There are many activities and ideas you can try with your child in that resource guide. Have fun and enjoy those early years.